Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy and tonight I am reviewing the Ben Romick 15 year old, a combination of all first fill ex bourbon and sherry casts, but only balled at 43%. Will that hold it back and will it maintain the prestige of being called the spring bank of Speyside? I'll let you know when I know it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, the Ben Romick 15 says right on the front label, exclusively matured in first fill cast. Also says natural color, nothing about filtration. Don't know if it's chilled or just heavily filtered, but you can assume something bottled at 43% does have a large amount of filtration happening to it. But let's see how this is on the nose. Right off the bat, you're just hit with a large amount of peat and sherry. I get chocolate orange, I get like a salted caramel, there's a little bit of tropical elements in this, but very, very faint. Kind of right in the background, you get some, some mango, some pineapple, some maltiness, and a little bit like a floral element kind of comes binds with this as well. But very inviting notes, very, very inviting, um, very tame at 43%. It's not burning your nostrils at all. Um, but let's see if this is on the palate. Just delicious on the palate. Again, peat and sherry are the main two themes here. Fruit, I get like a smoked pear, apple pie, raspberry jam, just delicious, delicious flavors on the palate here. Banana bread, orange marmalade, a little bit of pepper, spice in there. And let's talk peat. So the peat comes off to me, it's like a very sweet, but at the same time kind of like this tar element to it, and then this funkiness. This is why Ben Romick has been coined the spring bank of Speyside because the balance of the peat and the peat influence compared to the rest of the whiskey has some similar characteristics to spring bank. I'm not saying that it tastes like spring bank, nothing tastes like spring bank, but the amount of peat incorporated into their whiskey is very similar to what spring bank does and you do get this like funky weird element to the peat. It's not like an Isla. It's not like something like Highland Park does, where it's like a heathery style. It's its own thing. And uh, it does remind you somewhat of what Campbelltown peat is like. The balance between the peat and the sherry cast here is excellent. It's right what I like. Sometimes for me, sherry and peat don't always go well together. I've said before on the channel, I'm not the hugest fan of the Art Bag Ugadel. Um, I would always take the Corey of Reckon over it. Is in the, the peat to sherry. It's a great whiskey, don't get me wrong, but I'm very particular about how um, peat incorporates with the sherry whiskey. And I don't think that the 43% ABV is holding this back enough for someone not to enjoy it. It's a very enjoyable whiskey. I absolutely love the profile of this. I think the peat in here and that first fill um, boldness that you get from the sherry cast and the ex bourbon cast, it makes the finish long. The palette on this and the finish is where it shines. The nose, maybe not so much, but I would consider this what I would call like a cruiser whiskey. It's something that's easily drinkable. Like the drinkability is through the roof. It's comfortable, it's approachable, and it's just an easy ride. It's really, really great. It's why I'm drinking it out of a tumbler. This is the ultimate tumbler pour. It's a pour I go to when I want something to last a long time. I don't necessarily care about nosing it as much as other whiskeys. It's a great sit back and relax, watch a movie, watch the ball game, sit on the balcony, have a campfire kind of whiskey. There are some few whiskeys out there that get a pass at 43%. Um, could it be better at 46? Sure, but it's not, it's 43. Macallan 12 Sherry Cask, outstanding whiskey. Would it be better at 46? Yeah, it would be, but it drinks really, really good at 43. I think this one drinks really, really good at 43. Um, I'm not concerned about what some other people are saying that like, you know, oh, it's like it's ruined because it's not 3% more. I think Whiskey Wednesday made a great point on his review of this. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description down below. Just because a whiskey is 46% and non-chill filtered doesn't automatically make it good. This is the Ralphie effect, I think, where you have all of these whiskey drinkers and people who watch YouTube and people who watch whiskey reviews and they'll immediately scoff at a whiskey if it's not, you know, an integrity bottling, like as Ralphie likes to say. It's not 46% or more. It's not non-chill filtered and doesn't have an age statement. If it doesn't have those three things, people will turn off of it. And I mean, rightfully so. Rightfully so. Those whiskeys, like most whiskeys should be bottled like that. 
Why bottle at 43? You're appealing to markets that like to drink whiskey at 43%. There's lots of markets out there that do it. There's a huge one that a lot of Scotch whiskey producers want to get into. And if you put ice in this and it turns cloudy, your whiskey might not sell in that market. Score wise for me on this, I'm going 87 and a half out of 100. Now let's talk value. I paid 115 Canadian dollars for this. I think that's a great value. I'm bumping this up another mark to make it 88 and a half out of 100. That is 100% recommend buy. If you can find this for around that price, definitely pick it up. If you're wary that it's 43% and drinks a little bit thin, it does not. It's, it's very, very bold and it's, it's very mouth coating. It's really good at 43%. It's a whiskey that you can sit back with a tumbler and just enjoy. And I love that. I love the switching it up. I don't always want to drink cast drink whiskey. Sometimes a big pour of something at 43 is just as enjoyable, if not more enjoyable, than drinking something cast drink. Let me know in the comments down below, have you tried Ben Romick 15? What are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on Ben Romick overall as a distillery? And do you have a favorite expression? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, throw up a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.